In previous videos, we talked about sending DMCA takedown notices to remove material that infringes on your copyrighted work. But what happens if you receive a takedown notice for your own content, or if you believe you did not infringe on the notice sender's work? First, don't panic. In nearly all cases, a takedown notice is not a prelude to a lawsuit. The copyright owner simply wants the material removed from the platform, but it's also a good idea to confirm that the notice has been properly filed. Second, you should review the notice to confirm that it includes the correct information as described in video 4 of this series. Third, you should confirm that the notice sender is either the copyright owner or a legal representative, like a law firm, publisher, or a rights management organization acting on behalf of the copyright owner. Fourth, if you are a fellow creator, you should do an honest assessment of the likelihood that the use was in fact infringing, or consider whether there is some other legal reason you may be allowed to use the work, such as it being a fair use or a work licensed by the platform. But this honest assessment goes both ways, and you should acknowledge when the use may likely be infringing before responding to the takedown notice. Fifth, if the takedown notice contains an error, or if you firmly believe that a fair use has been made, then filing a counter notice may be the right response. But you should seriously weigh both the merits and the importance of the use because a counter notice can trigger legal action if the copyright owner feels strongly that an infringement does exist. Sixth, most service providers have repeat infringer policies that will terminate a user's account if they are the subject of too many unchallenged takedown requests. Therefore, if this is not the first takedown request you have received, you may want to consider the possibility that your account may be terminated if you do not file a counter notice, provided, of course, that the counter notice is justified. If no counter notice is sent, the service provider will remove the material at issue and no further action is needed. Video 6 in this series covers the elements of a properly filed counter notice. For more information about the DMCA and copyright in general, visit copyrightalliance.org.